Did you know that 80% of electric vehicle users make these mistakes? Electric vehicles are the amazing technology of our time. Quiet, environmentally friendly, and the vehicles of the future. Unfortunately, many drivers are unknowingly damaging their batteries. In this video, I will explain the five most common mistakes electric vehicle owners make and how these mistakes can damage your vehicle. If you also use an electric vehicle, you should watch this video all the way through because with a few small habits, you can extend the lifespan of your vehicle. Mistake 1. Always driving your vehicle in sport mode One of the biggest appeals of electric vehicles is the incredible acceleration power you feel the moment you touch the gas pedal. Sport mode maximizes this performance. It offers sharper response, more aggressive torque distribution, and acceleration capability. However, when this enjoyable feature becomes a habit in daily use, it seriously negatively impacts both range and battery health. When in sport mode, the vehicle constantly consumes high power. This means you use 15 to 25% more energy compared to normal mode over the same distance. Especially in city driving, it unnecessarily uses extra power from the battery at every stop and go. As a result, your range decreases much faster than expected. On long trips, this difference becomes even more pronounced, and you may have to take frequent charging breaks. Another downside is excessive battery heating. Sport mode runs the motor and battery under higher loads, increasing temperature levels. When the battery is constantly stressed this way, the chemical structure of the cells deteriorates, accelerating capacity loss. In short, using sport mode for fun today can shorten battery life in the long run. Opting for normal or eco mode in daily use provides more efficient driving and preserves battery health. Using sport mode only when truly needed for short bursts of performance is much more appropriate. Mistake 2. One of the biggest enemies of electric vehicles is not cold, but actually excessive heat, especially in summer. Leaving your vehicle in the sun for hours instead of parking it in the shade causes much more damage to the battery than you might think. This is because lithium-ion batteries are extremely sensitive to high temperatures. The chemical reactions constantly occurring inside the cells accelerate when the temperature rises which speeds up the capacity loss process that shortens the battery's life. You may not notice a difference with short-term use. However, if you continue this habit every summer, your vehicle's range may visibly decrease within two to three years. Moreover, not only will the range decrease, but charging times will also increase, and you may experience sudden drops in battery performance. Some drivers think, my vehicle already has a thermal management system, so there's no problem. However, these systems only protect the battery up to a certain point. At battery temperatures reaching 50 to 60 degrees Celsius in the sun, the cooling system has to run continuously. This both increases energy consumption and shortens the system's lifespan. In the long run, the cost of the situation is high. The battery's capacity permanently decreases, range loss accelerates, and you may even encounter expensive problems not covered by warranty. The solution is simple but critical. Park your vehicle in the shade whenever possible, use covered parking, and take simple precautions like using a sunshade if necessary. Remember, a few hours of carelessness can cost your battery years of life in the long run. Mistake 3. Leaving unnecessary equipment running. Continuously electric vehicles are sensitive to energy consumption. Every watt drawn from the battery directly affects the range. Most drivers assume this is limited to major consumers such as air conditioning or heating. However, seemingly minor details also make a significant difference in the long run. Features such as ambient lighting, high-volume music systems, heated steering wheels, or seats may seem harmless when used briefly, but when left on continuously, they draw extra, unnecessary energy from the battery. This becomes more noticeable on long trips. For example, a loud sound system can consume an extra 200 to 300 watts, which equates to dozens of kilometers of range loss. Similarly, heated steering wheels and seats may seem to consume low power, but when left on for hours, they become a significant energy drain. Add to this continuously active visual equipment like ambient lighting, and the vehicle begins to consume its own range without you realizing it. Every small amount of energy drawn from the battery increases capacity usage over the long term, affecting its lifespan. So this is not just a range issue, it's also important for battery health. The solution is actually simple. Use these features when needed, and make it a habit to turn them off when you're done. Of course, there are features that will make your journey more enjoyable, but leaving them on constantly means sacrificing range. To avoid big losses due to small details, remember that every extra feature takes a toll on the battery. Mistake 4. Neglecting battery preheating in winter One of the most overlooked points by electric vehicle owners is not activating battery preheating in cold weather. When outside temperatures drop, battery cells operate at a much lower efficiency than normal. 
If you drive off without preheating the vehicle, the battery cells are subjected to sudden current draw. This leads to both performance loss and long-term negative effects on battery health. Imagine a cold morning. When you start your car, you notice that the range indicator is lower than normal. This is because the battery starts supplying energy before reaching its ideal operating temperature. At this point, the vehicle may limit engine power, acceleration slows down, and charge consumption increases. Furthermore, rapidly drawing energy from a cold battery causes microscopic damage to the cells. This reduces the battery's capacity in the long run and accelerates range loss. Manufacturers offer a battery preheating or preconditioning feature to prevent this problem. However, many drivers neglect to use this feature, yet preheating the vehicle for a few minutes while it is charging preserves range when you set off and ensures battery health in the long term. Additionally, it is very important to activate battery preheating before going to fast charging stations. If high current is applied to a cold battery, the charging speed drops significantly and the waiting time increases. Thanks to preheating, charging becomes much faster and safer when the cells reach the ideal temperature. In conclusion, Skipping battery preheating in winter may seem like a minor detail, but it accelerates capacity loss in the long run and negatively impacts your vehicle's performance. Mistake 5. Unnecessary Continuous Use of Air Conditioning Whilst Heating In electric vehicles, every extra bit of energy drawn from the battery directly affects the range. One of the most overlooked details here is the air conditioning and heating system especially in winter when comfort features such as seat heaters or steering wheel heating are left on, the range decreases rapidly without you realizing it. In summer, high-level air conditioning can seriously shorten the vehicle's range. Battery-powered vehicles do not generate heat for free from engine temperature like traditional motor vehicles. Heating and cooling systems draw power directly from the battery. For example, resistance systems used to quickly heat the vehicle's interior on a cold winter day can cause a 10 to 15% range loss in a short time. Similarly, running the air conditioning continuously at the highest level in 35 degree heat in summer consumes the charge much faster than expected, especially on long journeys. Another downside of this situation is the additional load on the battery. The vehicle demands more energy to both move and power the comfort systems. As a result, the battery is subjected to higher discharge cycles, accelerating capacity loss in the long term. The solution is actually quite simple. Use the air conditioning and heating only as needed and take advantage of the eco mode or energy saving settings whenever possible. For example, only turning on the seat heaters for short periods or keeping the air conditioner's fan speed at a medium setting helps preserve range. Additionally, pre-cooling or preheating the vehicle while it's charging preconditioning offers significant energy efficiency benefits. To preserve the life of your electric vehicles, it is essential to avoid these mistakes. If this information was helpful to you, don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss new videos on EV maintenance. What do you think is the most common mistake? Let's discuss in the comments. It's in the e -how.